Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to easily make a liquid culture solution using a microwave as the sterilization process. So the way I make it is I get about 750 milliliters of water and one tablespoon of light corn syrup. It's best to have the 750 milliliters of water boiling when you, or slightly before so it's hot, when you add the corn syrup because it will help dissolve it away from the spoon and it'll also help your um, water boil quicker after you put it back in the microwave. I strongly recommend using a corn syrup, like a light corn syrup, because it actually has a lower sugar concentration and a mixture of gelatinized starches. And what this does is it means reduced caramelization as well as a uh, longer sustaining uh, energy source of, from the starch as opposed to using something like honey which has a much higher fructose concentration and um, a higher glucose concentration which both caramelize much quicker at higher uh, uh, these temperatures than the um, corn syrup does and in my, ex my experience is if you caramelize the sugar too much it is really bad at growing um, the mycelium compared to a less caramelized liquid culture solution. So, once you've dissolved the one tablespoon of light uh, corn syrup into the water, use the lid that I showed how to make in another video, and just carefully sit it on. Don't don't screw it on. Leave wiggle room. Um, and keep in mind this water here is near boiling temperature, and then just microwave it for 10 minutes. When it's done microwaving, it will automatically seal on, the, the lid will seal on, but in the meantime, as it's boiling, it'll allow uh, the vapor to escape. And you really don't want to fill it any higher than this. This is probably already too high, because if your microwave starts to boil too much, it will uh, leak out, and you really don't want to get sugar solution uh, around the rim. So. Yeah, that's all it takes. Gently sit it on, microwave it for 10 minutes. <coughs> Once that's done, it'll form a vacuum and you just let it cool. It, you'll see it boiling at room temperature because of the vacuum. If you don't see that, then uh, your lid is not sealed properly and you're going to get a contamination. Um, so, the, so the vacuum aspect of it is really important to watch out for. So I will uh, show you the product once it's done, and in the meantime I'll pause the camera. So once you've boiled it in the microwave for 10 minutes, um, you'll notice that there's a bit of water loss through the evaporation and boiling process and um, even though it's still hot it's a lot cooler but you can see that it's just barely boiling because of the formation of the vacuum. Uh, once you're done with that uh, ju just leave it to cool for a few hours don't try to put it in cold water to make it cool off quicker you'll you'll break the jar because of the the heat but once it is cool um, you can make one of these very simple filters that I discussed earlier in my how to make a liquid culture lid video and all it is is polyfill compressed as much as you can um, and, and really get it stuffed in there in a syringe uh, sterilize it you can sterilize it in a pressure cooker or you can put it in a uh, a mason jar with water and just boil it in the microwave for a long time um, and then just stick it in and it'll suck in clear sterile air uh, and then it's good to go. Put this in one injection port and then use a spore syringe or a liquid culture and put it in the other injection port. Um, it's important to put the filter in first because there is a vacuum and if you do it the other way around 
you're going to be fighting with the jar, and it'll almost certainly suck your entire syringe into uh, the jar, which you don't really want. You only need a little bit of mycelium, a, a few spores. J just put a, enough to get something in there, and then leave it to colonize for about a week. And of course, this will produce about, um, you know, it probably lost 50 milliliters while boiling, so it, it'll produce something along the lines of uh, 65 to uh, 70 liquid culture syringes that are 10 milliliters each. Uh, that's a ton, and you can grow so many mushrooms with just one liquid culture jar like this because a, a bag like this, which is three pounds, you only need one milliliter or, you know, up to five milliliters to inoculate it. You, you really probably only need half a milliliter. So you can imagine... Um, you know, 700 milliliters or 650 milliliters uh, divided into one milliliter per three pound bag, you could grow hundreds of pounds of mushrooms just from this liquid culture alone. And as you can see, it's a very easy process. There's almost no investment, maybe like five, ten bucks tops. Um, so this is a good way to get started. Generally, people don't recommend that you inoculate liquid culture with spores because there's a pretty high risk of uh, contamination. But if you have a good source of spores and you only use a little bit and you've properly sterilized this and use a good filter, you're probably going to be fine. Um, and, and it's a great way to save money because if you, if you buy another spore syringe, it's 10 bucks when you could spend 10 bucks on this and get an unlimited supply of liquid culture that can be used in place of spore syringes. So I really recommend that. Um, I'm probably the best place to get sterilized grain, but I don't currently sell spore solution. Uh, if you're interested in spore solution, you can check out uh, Sleeping Forest Organics on uh, Facebook, and they have some really good prices and they're really helpful and from what I've heard I haven't used them myself but from what I've heard that their spore syringes are very clean and uh, and if they're not they'll work uh, with you and replace it I believe T contact them for like the the real details and I'll provide a, a link to their Facebook page in the description below but yeah that's how you make a liquid culture uh, jar it's really easy. You don't need a pressure cooker. It might be better to use a pressure cooker, but I've done it this way many times and I've never had an issue. So I, you know, I think it works just as well. Um, so yeah, that, that's all there is to it. Uh, oh, other than as this cools and sits and once it's exposed to oxygen, the, the color will get darker. That is fine. It is to be expected. It's just part of the caramelization. I don't fully understand it, but it's not a big deal. Don't worry too much about it. Um, all right, so there you go.